So, Imagi versus Bismarck. Both tier 8 BBs. Great. Fiji versus Helena. Mm. And then uh, Uno Mas uh, versus Gadash Mada. So, Very interesting lineup. Hydro DD. Helena. Tell me about the Helena. What what can the Helena do? Bam HE. It really is just a tier 7 playable all. For all intents and purposes, that's what it is. Would you not have? Would you not favor the functionality of the Fiji? Its smoke, its regeneration, that type of thing. Perhaps not, because it really lacks the damage output. Anyone angles against you, your damage output really starts to suffer. Hmm. I would honestly rather take a flint because at least you can set fires. Well, not everyone has the steel for the flint. That's the last thing. That's true. Okay, so. Mada, Fiji, and Maggie all going as a team. Looks like they're heading for Charlie first. Uh, my team's all running school bus camo. <laughs> <laughs> now, in your personal preference, a Maggie or Bismarck? For a map like this, I would say a Maggie. There is potential for longer range sniping. You have a 45% torpedo bolt for eating torpedoes compared to Bismarck's Hydro to try to not eat them in the first place. But a Maggie's guns are much more reliable against things like Helena. And in a fight, you can always AT down a Bismarck. Hmm, okay. And the key thing is, Bismarck secondary, the 10.5s, don't get caliber by forward penetration. Even if he goes IFAG, he doesn't pen the, uh, doesn't get full secondary pens against the Armagi's deck. Okay, and what bit? So would the secondaries more be of a uh, closer range cruiser destroyer deterrent? But then again, do they really have the punching power to stop something if he's like point blank range at you? Well, you'll never stop. You will never stop a Kajimara saying lul, 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 going around the corner and deleting you. But yeah. uh, if you do take a protracted fight against it at about you know, 8 9 kilometers, you're going to lose to it. Simply because at this tier, there's nobody that pens 50 mil with AG that isn't a battleship. Well, all three of the Hydro teams are indeed going for. Oh, hello. Sorry, I forgot to update the teams. Hey. Update. Update. Well, we have a split from our side, as you can see, Charlie is being capped by the Mars, and the Helena is bow in approaching a B. If he gets caught there by an Amagi, that's... he's gonna have a bad day. Give me two seconds, my overlay is not... Oh, it's not a Hydra win. Nah, <laughs> ignore that. There we go, Hydra versus Beer. Oh, what do you see was in Charlie? There's a Mars, and he saw the smoke screen. He also sees the Amagi. Mm, okay, so the, the Mada's smoking in the Fiji with the Amagi in the back line. Uh, yep. Fiji and has the Hydro up. Oh, yeah, Mass is spotted. Ooh, Mass does have pretty bad concealment. Gatia yeah, will easily have to seal that. Uh, yeah. Taking some fire. Ooh, that, that That's happened. a lot of health from a Fiji Amagi tap. Well, more shells coming in, but they're unlikely to do oh, no. another. No, he did another hundred something damage. Not a big deal. Okay, but you know, every every little counts. The point is, it forces a smoke and it forces a pullback. Ah, hello. I see your Bismarck and the double cap on Alpha Bravo. Yep, that was a very risky play. If Imagi stayed central, that would have been a very screwed Helena. Since it didn't look like they were pinging RPFs, uh, they probably were talking about it on the chat that there is a, a big group of stuff going C and seeing the smoke screen. But again, it's it's two points every three seconds per cap. So even if they get four points every three seconds, that's still a lot of points to make up for a thousand. I mean, the Bismarck's taking quite a few chunk hits from the Amagis down 52k. And I'm not sure if they're going to keep moving up north. Like the Helena's getting the cap point, uh, the, the points in for B. The Fiji is returning fire on the Bismarck, so he's basically uh, resetting the cap at the moment and getting just like, small hits. The Uno Mass, I don't think the Mass can fight the Mada. No, not now that he's, he's lost so much health. So the Mada can be more aggressive, push up, take C, and maybe choose to kind of rotate around. He outspots the Mars anyway, so that's not a big uh, problem. It's got a very big concealment. What about in a gun battle? If it was a gun battle at equal health, and that's a Mada versus a Mass, what happens there? Depends on his broadside. If Mars get, catches um, catches Gatia broadside, it's a reasonably big ship. It can lead some AP damage. Mm -hmm. But other than that, Mars is going to lose, simply so, due to poor HE performance that's... and fewer guns. Deep waters are spotted. 
Oh, Mass has spotted again. Spotted. He's trying to escape. He knows the Mad is chasing him, and that's what I would do if I was the Mad. I would just harass the Mass. The Mass needs to run away. His smoke may not be ready. It's not the same long. It's six kilometers. He'll get around the corner, and he won't be shot by the Amag of the Fiji because of the island. Okay, so he escapes again, but he's being a hunted beast. And then he the needs Mada... to stop the ship, though, because if he goes around the corner, the 20 second delay in about 5 seconds is going to get him spotted again. Right about now. Yep, spotted. A Maggie could, could... No, he goes stealth again. Nah, too late. Now what yeah. happens? This is, this is the interesting, because it's on the Bismarck. And it's on the Helena to make a play here. No, really. They're honestly just going to sit there and let Hydra come and see what happens. The problem is the Helena doesn't get torts. And the Fiji Yamagi are on top of each other, which means um, the Fiji... Um, what is the Bismarck doing? Okay, so he's rotated around and... He's basically sitting there saying, come at me, guys. <laughs> uh, I've got secondaries and I'm waiting for you. Uh, okay, so we see the Uno mass, torps don't quite hit. The thing is, the only thing I have to worry about is the deep water flanking torps from the matter, but that's 8 kilometers, and he's too far away for those torps to realistically connect. The Amagi's gonna come round maybe broadside, so yeah, he could run away. Ah, but no, the, the, the Bismarck's trying not to get himself, uh, his turrets are not in the right position, but he's obviously trying not to get himself. Warped off the face of the earth? Yeah, oh, he's gonna beach himself. So he's, front, he's gonna only have half guns here. I mean, that's he's good. gonna have a fair amount of seconds. I think he's still taking one though. Oh no, never mind. They expired. Yeah, no, there's 8k on that range, so he's fine there. Um, the re smoked up mass, so he's kind of. Well, he can't watch anymore. Oh, the Bismarck suffered a gun turret crit, so you look at the back <coughs> turrets, so you can see number 3 isn't rotating. No, so he's only got a quarter of his gun firepower. The Maggie has all his guns on, and the Bismarck. It, he's trying. I mean, okay, he maybe has some secondaries, but. Look at this. Not at this angle, the Amagi's gotten right behind him, so he's negating the vast majority of his secondaries. I think only uh, one ten point five and one fifteen battery. Bismarck, I feel the Bismarck's misplayed here pretty poorly. He got caught out by the torpedoes, and now the Mud is going to smoke up, knowing that there's this free spotting, and the Bismarck fires in the uh, wrong area of the Amagi. So no full, oh man, full broadside Amagi, but he's just taking advantage of the fact that the Bismarck can't. Ooh, okay, now his gun's up now. The Fiji might be in trouble though. He ran into 15 6 inch guns waiting to say. Oh, the Helena? Yeah, 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 and the Fiji's the wrong way around. Does he have a smoke ready? No. Wow, he's getting chumped down oh, 14k. Oh, yeah. The Fiji, the Helena's. Oh, the dude, watch the well. Bismarck. Uh, the Bismarck's got all guns now on the Amagi. The mass misses the torps, but it's basically who broadsides each other first. Okay, the Bismarck's gonna rotate away now, so he's gonna slate it from this sense. Helena's going super slow. He's chumping the Fiji down to 11k. The Helena needed to just reverse. Oh, because... but the Bismarck is taking so much damage. He's down now to 18k and he still can't get all his guns on. And that Amagi okay. from Zane is just basically more or less broadside the whole time saying, yeah, whatever, I'm just going to keep champing into yeah. everything I've got. You know, I, I, I'm an Amagi. I don't care about your puny 38. Oh, so Torps. Uh, but they're not going to do anything. Because no, they, they miss. Because this big gap because quad torpedo launchers. Oh, man. And now the Fiji smokes up, so he can uh, disengage from the Helena. The Bismarck is down to 9k, and he's still burning. Oh, and he's, oh that AP shot's going to kill him off. Yep, indeed. And the Helena made a huge mistake there engaging the Fiji. He let the Fiji get out of the smoke firing range. If you were the Helena, would you have wanted to keep your guns on the Amagi to help your Bismarck? Because I feel like the Bismarck also misplayed. How he beached himself, he only had one gun firing, you know, all that type of stuff. No, I would have killed off the Fiji. Kill the Fiji, then you can go back to the Amagi at a, a, at a later point. Mm, okay. Now, the Mars really just need to take the chance that the Amagi still has AP loaded and chance them on the front turrets before the rear turrets can engage. Because at the long You gotta be aggressive, delays, right? Yeah. yeah, you just gotta take the chance. It's, it's two gun turrets at the front, four guns in total. Yamagi will never be permitted if he goes back in to activate if the you, gun Yeah, if you and trade... The right way. Oh, here he goes. If the mass trades for the Maggie, now he's spotted, and the gun turrets from the Maggie are totally in the wrong direction, they're turning now, I think the mass should get the torch off. He might yeah, even well, live. He will, he will eat the front turrets, though, and he doesn't live. Because the second turret... Oh, no, okay. Well, the one is, he traded. Now, the problem is his cap points, right? The Helena has to be baller aggressive. Go into A, B, double cap, don't go for C, I think, and just push as hard as you possibly can. I mean, there's nothing else for it. You've got the firepower advantage. 
You've got health-ish advantage against the Fiji. He's got more than enough HP, similar to the firepower advantage of having 15 barrels to play with. And the smoke is about to expire, though I doubt he's going to catch anything. The Fiji's probably de the area by now. Okay, so the Helena spotted. That's by the matter. So that's the advantage that Hydro's going to have, is they'll be able to see the Helena. The Helena, he needs to get into AB and... The, okay, so he's turning away from where the Mada was, so he's not going to go into Deep War Torps. Fiji probably saw that turn. What's the Fiji doing? He's just reversing. I think the Fiji's going to get caught with his pants down. Because the Fiji's is in the middle of Bravo. Oh, well, but he'll have a smoke screen up in about 15 seconds. He might just be on time. Uh, he's only got his front guns. His rear turrets are still turning, but he's on 13k oh, health. If the Helena will catch him. Now, he's, he's killing his speed. Now he's going back forward. Hydro's up. He sees the Helena like 3.8 kilometers. He's um, like, oh, crap. Now he's Helena. chart. Oh, you're doing broadsides, mate. Uh, he got away with it. The only oh, thing yeah, yeah. he survived, but the problem is the points are going to start ticking out of his favor soon. He wants to avoid the torpedoes, which is definitely not a bad play at all. He chanced the broadside, got away with it, and that's a screwed Fiji. Single Thanks, fire, 5,000 health. The only needs to double back in, though, because he's still down on points in four minutes. Yep, but he still has his hydro up, which means he knows he's safe from torpedoes. But yeah, but the Fiji, the Fiji's angling is such that if I was the Helena, okay, you don't want to turn too much to give broadside, and he, he has to be careful. As soon as he needs to like be in a position where like he kills his speed, he has to go back and attack. He has to go for the cat. He needed to just to counter rotate. Actually, oh. gun barrels, and it doesn't matter. The fire. Ah, uh, as far as gonna kill him off anyway. All right. But he needed to counter rotate during the hydro, knowing that he can't get torped during that period, except the fact that he's gonna bleed the HP. And what the Fiji needed to realize there is that he's going to die. He's but screwed. surely this, I mean, this is all academic because so long as the Mada plays well from Hydro, uh, he has nothing to fear. He's got the, I mean, even if the Helena goes into AB and grabs the double cap, three minutes on the game clock, there's no way to catch up on points. He must kill the Mada, so therefore the Mada just runs away. Yeah, and I mean, the thing is though, the, the Fiji could have made it, like in the event that there is something, the Fiji could have made it better by simply accepting the fact that he's dead and activating all his guns to trade as much of the Helena as possible. Mm. Because that the Helena cannot regenerate any of that HP. And at this HP, the Guardian Mara can beat it in a gunfight. Yeah. So the Mara's just doing kind of uh, preemptive guest torps and he's just backing off into Charlie, which is the right decision. Game clock, 2 minutes 30, this will be it. But the Helena would have been on about half of his current HP. It would have been about three to four thousand HP, which is two to three salvoable to the um, to the Gatimada's uh, guns. Uh, but uh, I mean, even at that, at this point, it doesn't matter. Just simply down to the time the Helena lost. And in these kind of situations, when you are down, you gotta take the risks. If your options are to lose, at least take a chance to not lose. But. Uh, well, the matter knows exactly where he is before because the AB cap. I mean, this buys him a little bit more time, but he has to now wait for the caps to go through and before he then starts chasing the matter. And the matter is like, oh, I'm just gonna run away. In fact, even yeah, sees him though. Yeah. So the matter really should just BM him and reset him right now. Oh, you think? <laughs> reset him. Go. I, I mean, oh, he I does. Know. He's firing. Exactly because exactly because I knew exactly where he was. He was going to leave through the south. Oh, but he failed. He, just, uh, he failed the A cap reset, which is a bit unfortunate, but it's still a BM enough play. Because again, you know, you have a smoke screen. You see him. Shoot him. Smoke up. You had more than enough HP. He was never in danger of dying. So you know, just simply give a BM reset. Just to say, you know what? You didn't have a chance, but. I'm gonna give you an even less of a chance because now you have to sit an additional 40 seconds in the cap just to get it. Yes, that is a uh, that's game for Hydro. Well, yeah, he's just kind of playing out. I mean, that was. I mean, I mean, Wrath, or sorry, Beer, felt like. Like the Bismarck, I feel if he played better, 
could have been, you know, the the mass probably got the best he could possibly have it because the Bismarck kind of I felt played poorly against the Amagi, right? Uh, and then the mass was punished at the beginning, and the fact that he was able to trade and get the BB kill, all right, that's that that's fine. But maybe if the Bismarck played better, maybe if the Helena played better, it wouldn't have come down to this. Uh, Honestly, I wouldn't really say that not any of that really mattered though. Like the Bismarck didn't play too poorly for the situation he found himself in. He was being port from an unknown range. So he wanted to evade the torpedoes. His his team was already in a in a disadvantaged position simply down to the position of the uh, the Gachimada easily being able to fight off the Mars and the Hydra not being really that relevant to be honest. So he tried to make the best out of what he had and unfortunately it wasn't gonna work. Okay, we've got our next game up. I'm gonna message you the name. Find that guy. <laughs> 